Hi, Miss Venezia Ali here. So today's homework is going to be about metals, nonmetals, and metalloids, where they can be found on the periodic table, and characteristics of both groups. So let's get started. So all of the elements that I have highlighted in yellow are metalloids. And if you notice, they're all touching the stair step case that I showed you earlier with the exception of aluminum. Aluminum is a metal. So right there's our stair step case and the yellows are metalloids. And I've hi highlighted all of the non-metals in pink. They are to the right of the stair step line, except for hydrogen. Notice these are all non-metals, non-metals. Stair step line, metalloids. So what I've highlighted in green are the metals. The metals, if you notice, are to the left of the stair step case. Everything to the left is a metal except for hydrogen. It is a non-metal. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is this dark line right here. It looks like a stair step case along the periodic table. This line right here is what separates the metals from the nonmetals. Okay, one characteristic of a metal is that they are malleable. They can be formed or pounded into sheets. So if you take a look at these pictures, they have taken this penny and dime right here and pounded them into earrings. Up the front you can see they're using a forming hammer to pound and make a piece of jewelry out of some more copper. So malleable, it can be pounded into sheets. Okay, another property of metals is that they're ductile. And ductile right here means that they may be formed into wires. So. All of the electrical wires in your house are made from copper wire just like this. Ductile, formed in wires. All right, metals are also good conductors of heat. So if you look right up here, we have a metal pan on the stove cooking our food. We don't have a plastic pan. It would not heat well, it would burn up. So. And what would happen if you were to touch that metal pan? Well, your hand would get burnt if you didn't use something like a wooden spoon or the handle. So metals are good conductors of heat. And they're also good conductors of electricity. So here we have, remember again, all of our wires for electricity in the house are copper wires and they conduct electricity really well, you wouldn't want to stick that metal fork into that electrical socket. You'd have a really bad day because metals conduct electricity. Okay, again, we're just talking about metals before we talk about our nonmetals. We know our metals are malleable. They can be hammered into shapes and formed. They are ductile. They can be drawn into wires. They're good conductors of heat and electricity. And then one last property is they have luster, which we know they're shiny, shiny, and they reflect lots of light. Now we're going to talk about properties of nonmetals.
Okay, so our final type of element is called metalloids. Metalloids are kind of the transition between metals and nonmetals. So remember that stair step case, most of all of them touch the stair step case. Some of them have properties of metals, some have properties of nonmetals, some of them have properties of both. So we're getting ready to learn a little bit about their physical properties. Okay, last but least, metalloids. They're usually solid. They can be shiny or dull. That's lustrous again. They conduct heat and electricity better than nonmetals. They make good semiconductors. They may or may not be brittle. And they may or may not be ductile. Remember? Ductile, pulled into wires may or may not be malleable, hammered into sheets. So it just really depends. So your phones are loaded full of silly um, semiconductors and metalloids. This right here is a picture of transistors. The, the interesting thing about semiconductors and metalloids is they allow the flow of um, heat or electricity to be turned off and on and not happen all the time, which makes them really good for our electronics. Metals are not. Look at my hair, look how shiny it is. Is it a metal or do I just need to wash it? Metal are not. 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 Okay, so this concludes your homework. Please answer all the questions. Bye.